Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of my Arkham Remake. So basically in this series, I am remaking the Arkham Knight Gotham City, just the Arkham Knight playable map in consideration of the previous Arkham games, especially Arkham City. So the goal is to kind of encapsulate the feeling of the Arkham City background, more so in the actual Arkham Knight map, because me and many other people have felt very kind of disappointed with the Arkham Knight map, not just just in its kind of size, you know, horizontally, but its size vertically. It's just not very tall. So I actually am redesigning the entire Arkham Knight playable map uh, with my own kind of vision for it. If you want to see the last video where I break down kind of my idea of this map and like where it came from, my improvements, I have like a time lapse and everything. In that video as well, I have a breakdown of me doing Wayne Tower, which is over over here. I have hidden Wayne Tower because uh, one, I'm evil and you're going to have to watch the other video to see it. And two, uh, you know, I might be on the street tomorrow. So um, I need you to go watch that video and support it. In today's video specifically though, we are going to be moving away from Wayne Tower, which Wayne Tower is not fully complete, but I'll probably complete it on a stream. In this episode, I want to focus on this kind of area. I'm probably going to call it uh, Gotham Central, this kind of like area, you know, because it feels like this is kind of like a central area. Might put Lady Gotham here. Maybe it was over here last time. We'll see. This area kind of gives me a uh, Times Square kind of idea for it. And the main focus of this episode is actually the Gotham Herald building, which is a uh, newspaper slash news station company. And they'll have their like original headquarters. It'll probably be a super old building and uh, it'll be very iconic for the city. Now, if this block is too small, you know, I'm going to be doing multiple different buildings on the block, then I might even do another block uh, just to make up for the time. Maybe it's a short video. We will see. Anyways, here is a few references. I think all of these are real life, but the main inspiration here that I want to take from is the original Times Square area uh, in like the 1920s uh, New York City. So yeah, I kind of want to do something with this because we want like actual um, triangular buildings, at least at the front, because again, it's like a Y intersection so it's gonna need a triangular building at first and then it'll kind of slowly build this could be similar to like the gotham empire central gotham area from the batman movie but i'm not gonna have gotham empire um so yeah it's just gonna be a cool little area i do want it to get pretty tall uh but i do not know exactly what this is gonna look like so i have these references i'm gonna base it off of and there's probably gonna be a lot of experimentation uh, I might even do like a sketch at first to kind of like plan it out and we'll go from there. Alright, two days later and I can without a doubt say that one block is definitely enough for this video. This took way longer than I thought. I put many, many hours into this and that's another reason you should support because this stuff takes a long time. It seems simple. I, I always, I'm like, oh, it's just cubes. You know, what could be so hard? This thing took me hours. There's a lot of intricacies that I kind of like don't take into consideration sometimes like putting in the street lamps and like copying and pasting them and putting in all of the windows. Oh my God, that took so long. But actually this block turned out really freaking cool and I don't want to spoil just everything yet i actually want to break down how i actually made this in the whole process so the first thing i started with was of course the gotham herald building this one was pretty much just based off of the little sketch i drew it didn't take that long i actually did a lot of this building on a live stream it went through a few different iterations i had to mess with the top a little bit and the side was a little bit skinny and after the live stream i had to kind of reconsider the the shape of the buildings behind it so there was actually four different buildings here before so i actually took out one 
When it comes to the Gotham Herald sign, honestly, I was just really, really winging it here. I thought it would be more interesting if I did like a double sign that is on each side of like the, the faces of the triangle. And so I was going to build this giant metallic structure or like scaffolding to then put the Gotham Herald sign on. And it actually turned out really, really good. People did point out and I pointed out like the top was a little plain. So shout out Air of Azrael, which is... Um, um, my friend's channel, that's where we post our actual Minecraft Gotham content. So some people were asking like, you should do Minecraft. And I'm like, yeah, I, I already do Minecraft. So if you want to see our Gotham, which is similarly like complex, it, it, way more complex actually than this, you just really like Gotham, then go over to Air Vazriel. I put it in the description and you can go check it out. But what he suggested was kind of like a spire or like a spike that's kind of ramping up like a fin, I guess. And I actually instantly thought of a building that's in the background of Arkham City and I'll put it up here this building which is very very weird and obviously that fin is actually a part of the building itself there's windows on it you know obviously I didn't really want to do that building because it's a little bit too weird like obviously that's just meant for the background they're not gonna actually make a building that looks like that that's kind of that's just ridiculous but I do want to do like a nod to it so this is what I came up with and I think it kind of gets the idea across that like this is what that building was supposed to be actually interpreted up close so it actually turned out really really good and I ended up having to make the building taller so the sketch uh looks really really nice because it's just kind of an approximation but as I got closer and closer to the tower the tower was not lining up because the tower is about 90 degrees and the rest of the block is going at this very like odd angle which honestly made it even more difficult to do this block specifically specifically because it's going at such a bizarre angle. Because it's made of blocks, you're gonna go like two, 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 one, two, 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 one. So it's like, that's really, really hard to fit things in and like actually make precise measurements out of. But I think I did pretty well, probably because I've done Minecraft before. And so I kind of am used to these like weird, you know, cubic shapes, but I did need to change the entirety of the back part. So we did have a problem of the back of the Gotham Herald being just a little bit too skinny and kind of weird it just didn't really make a lot of sense so i was like you know what i'm just gonna get rid of one of these buildings back here and extend the gotham herald in a very interesting way so what i ended up doing was doing this giant archway it's like this huge i guess tunnel or passageway or i guess you could say it's just like a sky bridge going to another part of the building it looks really, really cool, especially from the side angle. I think it would be cool actually in game to like glide through that. I think that would be pretty interesting. When it comes to the darker brick building, this one was super tough. I was messing with the top of this one for ages, just, just messing with it, doing different elevations, especially on the curving part at the back, just kind of doing so many different things and experimenting. And this is kind of what I ended up with. And I think by itself, the shape isn't amazing, but later I add in, you know, like water towers and like a billboard that actually kind of flesh it out and make it look less plain. And I think the key thing that I kind of learned here is that you don't want to make all your cake layers like very consistent and size so not all the not all the rooftops need to have the same amount of surface area some of them can have a, a very small amount of surface area and then others are huge um, it just makes it look more random and more natural after moving on from the brown brick building, I went over to the giant tower, which I'm kind of, I don't know, my mind wants to say Olsen Tower or like the Olsen building. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I just think Olsen would be a cool name for it. But again, suggest a name. Uh, this building was a lot easier because it is 90 degree angles. So it works a lot better and I have good measurements for the windows. So the windows actually have, you know, select measurements and layouts, which made it a lot easier. But I did want to make the building somewhat fancy. So we got these like curved corners on the side. And as the building goes up, there's a bunch of different cake layers and it gets pretty intricate. 
In fact, on one of the floors, I have some little roof gardens up there. I got this little dome and these other little roof gardens, as well as this like entrance uh, into the side of the building that I think looks really cool. At the top, I was very much inspired by that one building in Chicago. I, sh I should probably know what it's called, but I didn't follow it exactly. We have a little clock tower up here, and I think it looks really freaking good, especially from far away. Again, you're going to see at the end of this that, you know, these voxels uh, in this video, view in this like unlit view they definitely look very like you know harsh but like when you start rendering it and the ray tracing it looks really really cool especially when i put in like the lights and everything the lamps add so much i'll get into it this would be a very atmospheric place to go it's going to be one of the tallest buildings in the city there's four gargoyles at the top that you can sit on and you can look down and it's just there's very vast differences in elevation in this in this block and I think it adds so much to it. It gets to like very low points in the block, but then it has some of the tallest parts of the city as well. I think I did a really good job of like laying out the shapes of this and making it actually interesting, um, not making it too crazy and not too plain at the same time. The main thing that took forever was filling in the windows. The windows on the, I'm going to keep calling it the Olsen building. The Olsen building, holy crap. Uh, that was, uh, that was hard. That was like, that was so many windows. And it's something I couldn't really copy and paste a lot like Wayne Tower. I just had to do it and it took so freaking long. I also added a ton of details. So the Olsen building and the Gotham Herald have the same general color palette, uh, but the brown brick one obviously has a different one. And they have uh, like three different tones to kind of give some depth to it and add some like ledges that make it a lot more 3D. After I got all of the windows in, I think I went over and started doing the fire escape. So I wanted to add a lot of detail here. I didn't want to leave it super blank and I wanted to, to fill it in with a bunch of like vents, you know, pipes, water towers, stuff like that. Because these buildings are so tall that like you're just going to have a lot of like flat just super tall buildings that don't have much on the side of them. So my way of fixing that is just adding in a bunch of fire escapes to kind of break up that detail. The fire escapes aren't that complicated, but they're not really supposed to be. It's just from far away, you can tell, oh, those are fire escapes, those are stairs. And then for the rooftops, I added in these water towers, and I also added this billboard on the brown building. I'm not sure what the billboard is showing, honestly. It's very hard to do like actual writing and stuff on these like curved angles again this wasn't just a 45 degree angle this is like one of those really weird angles that is hard to use i also added some like roof access uh, little boxes i added some like ventilation just kind of random stuff i added these pipes later on that i think added a lot to the depth and fantasy like gotham especially like arkham city and stuff had these like crazy pipes going around even arkham knight had them i think to a certain degree and i really like these pipes because they don't make any sense but like that's it's so gotham it's so like ridiculous and like over the top to have these giant industrial pipes on these like skyscrapers so i thought i'd add them they were kind of hard to do but they do add a lot after adding in all of this detail which again this stuff took forever uh, I finally got down to one of the most important things for this, which is the lighting. So not only did I need to light a lot of the uh, billboards and do some signs, which I am going to actually add more signs to the Gotham Herald at some point. It's just this was taking a while and I just want to release the video. So eventually I will add a bit more signs to make it more like Times Square. Uh, there will be a Grand Avenue as well. So, you know, this won't be the only place that has a bunch of signs. I also needed to add in some street lights which i didn't even do that on wayne tower so i'm actually doing a lot more here in consideration the street lamps add so much because i was noticing that there wasn't really any light sources and the fog is kind of weird in magic of voxel so I'm, i wasn't really sure how to fix it but there wasn't much light coming into the scene and so i needed light from somewhere and so i was like i'm just gonna add a bunch of street lamps and i'm gonna do those like sulfur you know orange lamps and i really like the way i did the street here it kind of looks like this is like a a miniature like you could put in a snow globe or something i don't know i just think it's really neat having this little piece this little block isolated once i got the lights to emit a bunch and just like actually like shine light over the buildings it immediately changed it it made it look a lot better 
So here I decided not to do the whole like emissive material behind the glass uh, because that would just take way more time because this already took forever and these buildings are a lot smaller than Wayne Tower. So, you know, I'd have to get my camera really in there and I'd also have to black out all the windows that are not lit. So I decided I'm just not going to go through the trouble of just putting all of the emissive material actually inside of the buildings. It's just way too tedious and the effect isn't even going to be like substantial enough to warrant it so what i did is i just actually replaced the glass windows that were on with a with an emissive material now at first this looks kind of dull and kind of bland it's just one kind of color and i was playing around with the color of it so much like trying to work it out it was either like too bright emitting too much to the point where you couldn't really tell where the windows ended and then emitting too little to where it kind of looked artificial at some point i realized you know what i'm just gonna do the uh the random function so what you can do is type Type rand in the console and put in two indexes of the colors here because you have 256 colors to work with and you put in two indexes and it will basically pick a random uh, color in between the two indexes you put in and it'll just fill in all the blocks you have selected so i did that for the windows and i did three different kind of colors here that are slightly different and it adds a lot like i'm gonna put up a real image of like actual like windows like lit windows in a real city and you'll notice that like there's a lot of stuff going on they don't just look you know like pure light coming through the windows like some of them got you know stuff in the way some of them have curtains there's so many different looking windows and like you know, value use and stuff and so this is kind of like my way of replicating that and it looks generally realistic at first it looked pretty realistic but it was too it was a little bit too much for me so i kind of toned it down but in the end i think it looked really really good and that's something i might even do to wayne tower because wayne tower just has one emissive color at the moment i also added in uh some lights here and there like on top of the gotham herald kind of like uh lower cake layers i added some lights up there uh, of course i added the gotham central sign on the bottom of the Gotham Herald of course again I'm gonna put more signs there I just didn't really have time at the moment I added some lights onto the Olsen Tower uh, just to kind of actually have some light up there because there wasn't much light getting up there one subtle thing I did that actually adds a ton because again there's not much light getting in and the more we add to the city the more there will be like ambient light from other buildings actually like casting onto other things and probably the longer the render times are going to be unfortunately for me so the one thing i did is i made this like very kind of like dim orange light like a sulfur it's kind of like the street lamps but like not nearly as bright and i put them like in places on the roof kind of hidden you can't see the light but you can see the light hitting things so I put them under the like water towers and I put them like under the billboard. It's just a little like little bit of ambient like orange and it adds so much to the rooftops and it makes you you can actually like see onto the rooftops now because it was just way too dark before. Okay, so that's basically everything I need to explain. Uh it was tedious, it took a long time, so please please push the like button, subscribe and support this video, share it around. But I will show you now the final result, it turned out really, really cool. So just like I said with Wayne Tower from far away, it just, it looks like a city block. It looks pretty real. And you know, if you get even further away, like I'm just imagining the entire city 
with this much detail all these little lights and stuff going on just every building's got fire escape so it's gonna look so freaking cool in the end when we have even more buildings and i might show an image maybe of wayne tower in the background of this so you can kind of see the height comparison uh, i think the olsen building is a it's like slightly taller or about the same height as wayne tower which makes a little bit of sense and uh this just turned out amazing like it looks pretty realistic um if you squint your eyes like that's just that's just a, a an image of a like a city block um i think it's really satisfying to just have this like cut out triangle of this city block but of course we will be doing and like connecting the rest of the city so i kind of like rounded off the uh, intersections but i will be connecting those intersections to other blocks in the next video i will probably move on to a smaller block this time because that that block was hard not just because it was big but because it just has a lot of like crazy angles like it was tough so i hope you like how it turned out of course please go check out the last video on wayne tower and if you really want to know like how the layout of the entire city is going to go down in the last video i i break it all down i literally go into the map that's what most of the video is honestly but yeah this turned out amazing if you guys have any suggestions uh for some of these building names or what you would like to see going forward uh, I'm near Grand Avenue Station, but I can technically go anywhere I want in the city. So, you know, if you want me to go somewhere else, let me know. I'm not, I don't really know what I'm going to do next. So uh, I'm interested in it, to hear what you guys want. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you've gotten to this part of the video, it means you care and I deeply appreciate it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.